They weighed me. We got a pack and play. I'm exposed. <laughs> it's terrible. It sucks. And I pee my pants every time. Super fun date, walking around Target with no George, so no one is screaming, and no one is speed eating Starburst, both George. We got our pack and play. I don't even know what we're gonna do now. We went to the doctor, it was great. More of that to come. Where to <sighs> on this date of ours, huh? I don't know. Back to the doctor stuff. Well, first, our sunny spring has turned into a frozen tundra of rain. No, it's not frozen. It's 44 degrees. It's 44 degrees, but it's it really cold. It is just nice out Car. here. It's like Seattle weather. I'm just in shorts and my coats don't zip, so I'm exposed. Your coats don't zip. <laughs> they don't zip. It's a problem. So at the doctor, everything was normal. I was in and out in 30 minutes. It was nuts. Well, I'm here alone this time. Dallin's watching George. It's a rainy day. Almost to 37 weeks on Friday, so let's go see what's up with baby. We're back. So I gained a pound, not as bad as last time, and now we're just waiting. They weighed me, and I have gained three ounces, which is the least I've ever gained after an appointment, like at an appointment. My blood pressure was 110 over like, 60 I may be remembering that wrong 110 for sure not for sure about the second number this time I peed in the cup made it in good job <laughs> didn't forget <laughs> so we did well there we scheduled my next appointment next week which is my very last appointment before baby comes which is exciting coming at you next Friday and now 
we're going on a little bit of a errand run date. We don't really have money in our budget to go eat out, so we're just kind of like walking around stores. So we're at REI now. Sidetrack from the gym. <laughs> yeah, and we happened to buy mountain bikes last year, so our REI membership dividend is like 300 bucks this year. <laughs> and, we, and we had the idea that we need to start putting together like a bug out bag just in case like the worst ever happened. Not because we're nuts, just like something we would take on trips with so us. If something ever happened, we would just throw it, you know, in the back of the car so that we would be able to like at least stay warm, have, have shelter, some food, have some shelter, food. and just in know. the worst case scenario. So we're, we might not get all this stuff now, but this just sparked an idea that we should like have a bag ready to go. Like if there's ever like a big, like, you know, like the mudslides in California or Texas, like the hurricanes stuff, in, in Houston. Just, we could just throw it in our car and have shelter if we needed shelter and food if we needed food and fire. And we already have like our whole tent bag. We just want this to be like ready in our garage to grab and go. Yeah, so. These are my favorite. We're putting so together far. ideas and just our list of things. We'll probably make a whole vlog when we get this and all we put together. Get, like, maybe like a hammock, hammock, hammock. That'd I grew up awesome. saying hammock. But tell us. Hammock? It's just what I grew up saying. Is that a Georgia thing? Super weird. I think it's just a me and my dad. Oh. But send us if you have like lists or if you have we a bug out bag. We would love to see your bug out bag. Like, that would be awesome. What are your essential things? Yeah. Because we're just getting into it and we just want like, we have a $300 REI dividend that's coming <laughs> we're probably to probably going to end up spending more than that over time because we want it to have everything we need, especially with two babies. And like Anyways. a headlamp. Anyways, let us know if you have a bug out bag. We want to check it out. And if you've ever had to use it, tell us that too. That'd be awesome. Well, good morning, Mama. Hi. Good morning. It's the next day. We were on our date and it was raining and freezing and we just kind of rushed to get a couple of snacks for George and then rushed home because it was getting late and put him to bed and then I just kind of collapsed <laughs> and sleep and then down. But you're sleeping good, right? You're sleeping a little bit better? Sort of yes and sort of no. Pregnancy isn't waking me up. I'm actually like able to sleep on my back a lot. Like I wake up and I'm just like on my back. <laughs> Whereas before that would never happen. But I don't know if you can hear it. I am going through like the depths of the terrible, awful, cold cough, congestion, and it's killing me. I have never had a cough when I am 37 weeks pregnant and it's basically like every time I cough, I am trying to eject the baby out of my body. <laughs> it's terrible. That sucks. And I pee my pants every time I cough, so. Well, that's fun. Definitely not feeling like the classiest lady <laughs> around <laughs> because I'm not. You are the classiest lady. I think it's like the universe. I was getting all excited because last time I was pregnant with George, I started making milk super duper early and was experiencing a lot of leakage from this region. Yeah. <laughs> and I was all excited this pregnancy because I don't know, you just, or just, you just don't feel super cute when you're wearing just pads, when you're just leaking everywhere. Understandably so. And I was all excited, but then I got this terrible cough and I am leaking in other places. It's <laughs> pretty much every time I cough, which isn't the cutest. Just pee in your pants every once in a while, no big deal. <coughs> Everybody does it. I pee my pants like twice a day. He does not. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to finish the pregnant update because when we talked about it on our date last night, it was kind of rushed, so I wanted to get into it for you, starting out with that little tidbit of information. Just thought we'd start at the top. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, my face while it has betrayed me for the last 37 weeks, has cleared up finally and is giving me my like pregnant glow skin that I've been waiting for. for you do have that weeks. pregnant glow, mama. I don't know, like the turmoil that was my face has finally calmed. And it's, it's like, it's nice to have a clear face when everything else is falling apart and doing weird things that I don't even want to understand. Moving down, I think I have somewhat of a sinus infection. I can't hear out of my ears. There's a lot of like drainage and mucus, but I don't think that's because of pregnancy. It's just like where I am. I have the voice of a sultry, <laughs> as Michael Scott would say, a sassy black man. <laughs> I have the voice of Stanley Hudson. Well, which is fun. George is gets George likes to dump out Luna's bowl of water, so every time I find him doing it, I'm like, George, 
no. But now I can be like, George, no. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> um, my hands are just a little swollen. I have a lot less joint pain. Not a lot's going on there. Belly is large. This is Dallin's coat, which I like to call my going out on the town outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have leggings. <laughs> <laughs> and an oversized, but actually not oversized jacket. Here's belly. Um, one little stretch mark right here. It's getting bigger, but like it's tiny. That was with George. And then... And this is from the door, right? <laughs> yeah, this is my door spruce healing when I open the door into my stomach. The doctor, I went, like I said, I went yesterday during the first part of our vlog. Um, he measured me every he didn't usually he's like oh you're a little measuring a little big or oh you're measuring a little small I kind of go back and forth he just didn't say anything this time so I don't know and the heartbeat I think he said was 142 it was kind of like going all over the place which babies I, yeah babies he listened to it for a while I was like <sighs> again the terrible mom part of my brain was like let's Let's have an issue so we can get this baby out of here. And then the other part was like, come on, be okay, be okay. And I guess everything was okay. Um, I had to get the strep B test, which is where they swab about down there. And yeah. I did that and he was like, well, no more next time you're here next week. And he was like, do you want me to check if you're dilated? And I feel like after I had George, when I had George, I was all nervous about people being down there. But then it was just like a tidal wave of visitors visited <laughs> that area. <laughs> Visiting down there. Visiting down Knocking there. Knocking on the door. Knocking on the door and I was like, Intruding. sure you're down there anyways, might as well check. And nothing's going on. He was like, I, you might be a fingertip. And I was like, yeah, I figured. Again, I was kind of like, maybe I'm a seven. <laughs> I don't know. Then we'll have a baby. Get that baby out of there. Not like I want to have a baby early, like a premature baby. We just don't know when we... Just hoping that the date was miscalculated. Yeah. We just, we just don't know when baby became baby inside of me. The great question of the modern day. <laughs> when did this happen? Well, I was breastfeeding George like nothing. I didn't think the wheels were turning down there, but they were. And so we have no idea when baby James came to, to live inside of me as a baby. I know when. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm always like, maybe she's full term this week. But I don't think she is. According to my app, she weighs six pounds-ish. Doctor said she was head down, and which is cool that he can know that <laughs> yeah. from doing what he does. And he said I wasn't effaced or nothing was going on with my cervix. If my dad is watching, he's gonna cringe when he hears that word. He's always like, whoa, don't. Nothing's going on there. According to him, it's still tilted back. Again, I don't, that means nothing to me, so. <laughs> My legs are good. I don't feel like they're getting more swollen or less swollen. We're kind of just hovering in the same location. I have it, I gained like three ounces. I feel like with George, I kind of stopped, like I plateaued, hoping that's occurring now. The plateau before the great drop in weight. Oh, I'm donating my placenta. All right. <laughs> he was like, when you have a C-section, it stays sterile and you can donate it to a place that does research for like burn victims. It's like a, a non-profit governmental medical research lab. I don't know, they're like all across the country. So he was like, you have to sign this consent form that you're gonna take control of your placenta from the hospital. And I was like, I'm not taking it anywhere. <laughs> I was like, you can have it as long as I don't have to deliver it to the lab. The only catch is he was like, you have to fill out this questionnaire, no big deal. And I was like, oh cool, how long is it? And he was like, oh, just 88 questions. <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah. it has a lot of questions. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways. This, if you've been wondering, is one of my favorite pictures of Jesus Christ. It's like showing his condescension, really. I think it just illustrates it very beautifully. Like he is the God of the universe, but also he came to earth and he's just like looking up at his creations and just really humble picture and also powerful picture. I like it. We got it right before George was born because we wanted him to be able to have like a relationship with Jesus. And we, I just feel like it's a super relatable picture. Like who hasn't kind of just 
thought about life looking at the stars and where they came from and I mean what their eternal destiny is and yeah so I really like it. It is by Greg K. Olson. Greg Olson painted this. Moving on. So about the REI stuff that we got. I want to show you some of this stuff. We kind of spent we we, we got more than anything. we didn't spend anything. We used our whole REI dividend, which was awesome. And we got more than we thought we initially would, which is pretty exciting. I mean, I love all this stuff and it makes me want to go camping right now and use all of it. But like check out some of this stuff. And you guys should have a bug out bag. You never know. When something comes up, like shoot, all the fires in California the or the the what the year? hurricane and the floods in Texas, all that stuff, you never know. So we are putting together our emergency bag and this is the start of it. Check it out. It'd be funny as if we just reached into this bag after talking this up so much and we pull out like Snickers and <laughs> s straws and KFC like gift cards. KFC gift card. It's all you need. Okay. Yeah. No, but we really got some good stuff. Yeah. That's <coughs> There's the Stop cough. That. Ugh. Okay, but these are some things we got. So, we got a hammock. So, it's if we don't double. even have time to grab our tent and our tarp and everything, this will like keep us off the ground and it's a big hammock. Yeah. And it zips up in the top and it lights up. The whole time we were like, cause we've been watching a lot of Survivor reruns. A lot of you guys are like, who are you rooting for this year? We don't know what's going on this year. We don't watch <laughs> television that's actually airing. Yeah, we just have Hulu, so. We're watching like four years ago. So we were like, oh, they would love this on Survivor. A little. With a nifty handle on it. Transportable pot so we can, if we need to boil our water, we could. We have these whistles. Ashley we'll found some whistles, emergency we whistles. Separated or if we like drive off the road or I don't even know. It's just up in the mountains, like they'll be able to find us. We'll just clip that on our bag somewhere. This is my favorite one and we already have one of these so I wanted to have a couple more just in case, you know, things get crazy. Two like mini water purifiers and they're really, really cool because you can attach them to water bottles or your camelback bladder. And then we also got two of these roll up water bags. This is one of those emergency thermal bivvies. A bivvy? I just don't want my kids to be cold, so if we ever get stuck out somewhere on one of our trips, we'll have emergency thermal blankets. We got two little spoon sets. Love these. This is really cool. This is like r rope, paracord, that you can set on fire. Yeah, so you can use it as rope until you need kindling or tinder. And then the rope, you can just cut off part of it and then it's also highly flammable and stays lit for a while. So that's pretty cool. Okay, this is Dallin's just, or and mine, it's just like a multi-purpose knife. Here's some utility cord and stormproof matches. And Dallin in our cart wants to get like a little stove and a shovel and what else? A little scrubber for our pot and some like travel soap and a toothbrush and small travel toothpaste and like a rag. Dallin is, well, the whole time through REI, I was like, we do not need that fancy stuff. This is like, we're in the woods dying and this keeps us alive. Like we need water, food, and fire. Water, shelter, and fire and a way to like, catch food and he's like no <laughs> we need a pot and a scrubber for our pot and a like stove so this is where Dallin and I compliment each other well in the event of an emergency now we won't be like rubbing sticks together to make fire <laughs> yeah and just chowing down on dry <laughs> oat <laughs> I'm like Gross. this needs to be portable like grab and go sweet that is your pregnant update and that is your preparedness update from the Sealy's straight to you. Yesterday we went to the post office and we had like five more baby packages. All of these ones. Thank you so much, guys. We're so excited to open these in a few days now. I know, two days. We're going live on Sunday, so. March 18th, 2018, live on YouTube at 1.30 Mountain Standard Mountain Daylight Time. Now it's daylight. So join us on YouTube and the notification will just go out hopefully around 1.30 that we're live and you can join us and we will open these presents and celebrate the arrival of baby James coming soon. We're excited and we'll see you then. Bye. Do you live in a place with no traffic, Costco, a nice gym, no winter, but also a ski resort 20 <laughs> minutes away? Because that is where we want to go.